Hi, YouTube. So I think I want to talk about what veganism did to me and to my body and to my mind. Um, I'm talking very long term vegan, and I know everyone can find somebody out there out of thousands of vegans that are may, might be vegan long term, and you might want to use that as an example and say, oh, but this person or but that person or but I or but whatever. But you know what? It's very, very rare to find someone who's been vegan for long, long term that's not completely emaciated. And actually, I would even argue that you cannot find a long, long term. I'm talking like over 20 years. Okay, like I would say it's basically impossible to find someone who has been long term, like over 20 years, who is not emaciated. And what you don't realize, and what people don't realize is that when you see someone on video camera, and you might think, well, you know, they look a little thin. Well, the video camera is lying to you because they actually look a lot thinner than what they do on video. Cameras add 10 pounds. See, see this right here? I don't really have a double chin, but for some reason the camera is exaggerating this. I'm not overweight at all. And when you see someone on YouTube and they look a little thin, no, in person, they look a lot thin, okay? Some, a lot of vegans, like very popular vegans, they hide this. And the way they do this is with camera lighting, angles, Jewelry, yes. Um, for example, Fully Raw Christina, she if you ever notice, she wears tons of these things around her wrist and her fingers because she doesn't want you to see her bones popping out. Okay, like um, this is what I want to talk about. I had been vegan and I'm talking like pretty militant only for the exception of because I didn't want to supplement with B12, I thought that the vegan diet was supposed to be like everything you needed, all natural. I didn't want to take B12. So in order to not die basically from anemia, which I'll get to in a minute, I would eat a little bit of egg, a little bit of yogurt every so often, just enough to keep me going. Okay. That's it. And I still got emaciated and I still got extremely low in B12. I still got very, very sick. And I'll talk about that in a minute, but I want to show you something. See this watch? I've had this watch since I was about 25. Oh, and by the way, I'm much older than I look, but I started being vegan right around the same time that I bought this watch. Towards the last few years of me being vegan, I could no longer wear this watch. I'll show you why. It fits me now, of course, because I have not been vegan for about five or six years now. I have been eating a more rounded diet. But towards the last few years of me being vegan, when I got extremely sick with anemia, low B12, and walking pneumonia, this watch did not fit me back then. It would slide like crazy. I couldn't wear it. It was so loose. Well, you know what that tells me? My bones were shrinking. My bones were shrinking. My body, I was in starvation mode and my body was taking what it needed to keep my heart pumping from my bones. That's why I got so thin. Fits me now, of course. <sighs> yeah, that's really sad. So just keep that in mind. Whenever you see a vegan and they look a little thin, no, they look a lot thin. Think about the camera. Think about how it's adding 10 pounds to them. Think about camera angles and clothing or jewelry that they might wear to cover up their bones. Look closely at their faces. See that they, they are aging even though they're only in their 20s. They have loss of fat under their eyes. They might have bulging, uh, what do you call, blood, blood veins in their foreheads because their brains are shrinking and their, their, for, their, their bones are shrinking and their head and their, thin, their, their skin is thinning and they're aging. And pay attention to all this stuff because cameras can hide a lot and cameras do add 10 pounds always. Keep that in mind. Take care.